If, one day in the future, aliens do invade Earth, in what way would they start the invasion? And does humanity stand a chance against powerful alien technology? This episode will show you the invasion process of alien civilizations from a scientific perspective. When alien spacecraft appear above the Earth, the first to detect them will be satellites. When the monitors didn't figure out what it was, the satellite was their first target. Alien spacecraft will use anti-satellite weapons to destroy our satellites. At this point, the Earth will lose contact with the satellite, and the control system will begin to fail. With GPS and communications, satellites knocked out, we'll be blind. The capitals of the world will be their next target. Using advanced weapons, they destroy the center of a country in an instant, leaving only a deep crater. Then the capitals of the major powers will attack one after another, and they launch the attack at the same time, and all the top officials were eliminated at the same time. Once the leadership is eliminated, society dissolves in chaos, and the aliens obviously know that. There are no superheroes, no Avengers to fight back. They can attack the world with impunity. Thousands of years of human civilization are being erased. At this time, because the satellite is disabled, people in some remote countries still do not know what is happening. While they were still warming up, a batch of alien projectiles had descended on Earth. The alien projectiles began to sprinkle black liquid, and the crowd, who had no time to react, was caught in the black rain. The black liquid they spilled was, in fact, a biological weapon. After all, if they want to quickly mass exterminate the human race, biological weapons are the most reasonable means for them. The same attacks are happening simultaneously in densely populated cities. Black rain is like a biological time bomb that does not kill people immediately, but spreads death around the world. This bioweapon is similar to Earth's cordyceps, and infected people climb to high places, like ants infected with cordyceps. They'll fix their legs to the leaves, and when the cordyceps kills the host, it'll start to multiply, and then it'll start to crack. It then rides the wind from high above, spreading the spores around the world. Now in the eyes of aliens, humans are like ants. At the same time, alien ships begin attacking our infrastructure. After the satellite is destroyed, the alien spacecraft shifts its target to the human data center. This wave of attacks was also simultaneous. Before people knew it, data centers around the world had been destroyed. Human computers and mobile phones are gone, and the internet is even less than scrap metal. People started to panic and run. The same goes for strikes on military bases. With communications down, the army was still unable to learn that the aliens had gone to war. Military bases were destroyed in a state of unpreparedness. Although the base has its own cover, the defense against alien attacks is close to zero. Why do aliens know so much about human beings and their attacks are extremely targeted as if they know all about human shortcomings? In fact, the answer is very simple. Human intelligence is given to the aliens by ourselves. Since the birth of radio, radio waves have been traveling at the speed of light away from the Earth and into all directions in the universe. So far, the waves have traveled 110 light years. Aliens in this range could easily detect us. The Earth has even sent its coordinates into space. This practice, no doubt shouting loudly in the dark jungle, reveals its position to the hunter. Under the successive attacks of aliens, thousands of cities have been destroyed, and it has become a hell on Earth. Although the main human military base has been destroyed, the surviving soldiers will voluntarily group together and begin to fight back against the alien weapons. But weapons of this magnitude are still too weak to break even their shields. The humans resorted to their most advanced weapon, the electromagnetic railgun. A magnetic railgun can fire a shell at an astonishing speed of 2.5 kilometers per second, but the weapon also has a big disadvantage. It generates a lot of heat when it is fired. The alien ship will quickly overpower the heat source and destroy the cannon. All humanity has now is the ultimate weapon, the nuclear bomb. A submarine carrying a nuclear bomb dodged a bullet, and they began firing nuclear bombs at alien ships. But their position is exposed the moment they fire, and alien ships can easily destroy them. A month after the alien invasion, only one million of the world's seven billion people remain. Cities lie in ruins, and armies are defeated. Those who survive face a miserable future. First, there is the problem of sanitation. There are so many dead bodies that have not been cleaned up. Severely polluted water sources, so that they can only drink muddy water. Civilization is in a state of chaos. Now man faces another enemy, and that is man himself. In order to survive, mankind began to grab resources, and civilization fell out of control. The human race is locked in tribal warfare, and life is getting harder for those who survive. When humans can't resist, but can we negotiate with aliens? In the end, we'll find no aliens to negotiate with. We will find that there are no aliens inside the destroyed alien ship, only an artificial intelligence. We're facing a machine. There's no point in negotiating or surrendering. The destruction of the city, dwindling food supplies, scarce fresh water, and the destruction of communications equipment 
have resulted in fewer survivors and a completely different way of life. The next step is a swarm of robots that will not only plunder the Earth's mineral resources, but also release huge amounts of gas. Gases change the Earth's atmosphere, all adapting to the subsequent existence of aliens. As the Earth's environment was modified, humans eventually died out. Even plants were not spared. From the beginning of the alien attack to the unlock, humans have never seen the alien. Why are humans so vulnerable to this alien invasion? With our current strength, there will always be a few counterattacks. But the fact is that the current level of human science and technology can only wriggle in the solar system. In contrast, aliens can already travel to the Earth, and the technological gap between the two sides is not at all the same level. As with the Trisolarans, Earth had for hundred years to prepare before the Trisolarans arrived. But in the face of a small water drop, no technology on Earth can destroy it. This is the gap in civilization level. That's the end of this issue. If we were to face such a situation, what would humanity do? With our current capabilities, it's impossible to detect the presence of aliens. Even every time we encounter an unknown event, it becomes a mystery. Aliens, on the other hand, know everything about us. If aliens invade the Earth, humanity will have no chance to overturn. Of course, we should not worry about the sky. The fate of mankind is in their own hands. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.